In today's lesson, we examined Nehemiah and his commission to build or rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Nehemiah was very, very wise. He did a few things. First of all, he prayed about it. He asked God and God gave him direction. And then when the king asked him what was wrong because Nehemiah was so grieved, Nehemiah had a plan. He asked the king for specific things that he needed. The king agreed and off Nehemiah went. When Nehemiah got to the city, did he rush in and let everybody know he was there? Mm -mm. Nehemiah spent three days resting and he may have been fasting and praying, we don't know, but we can assume that those three days were spent with the Lord in prayer. And afterwards he goes and surveys the city, he takes a few people with him, a few trusted people, he doesn't share his plan with everyone. But when he's ready, he calls the officials and he shares his plan with each of the leaders of the city. He gets their buy-in. He doesn't ask you or say, you do this, you do that. He says, we, we will rebuild. So he uses the we term. In other words, he's a servant leader. He's going to be right there with them. He's going to walk alongside them. He's going to be doing the work of the ministry along with them. What a wise, wise leader Nehemiah was. And then we get to a portion where the enemies of God confront Nehemiah and throughout, you must read the entire book because it is so rich with content. And we'll just summarize it a little bit that those three enemies come to Nehemiah with lies and tricks. They try to get him to meet with them in the Valley of Ono. Oh and I love to say, and Nehemiah said, oh no, I'm not going to, oh no. But anyway, they try to get him to hide in the temple. Oh my goodness. They try to trick Nehemiah, but Nehemiah is focused he has a goal in mind and he has God's word to stand on and he will not be dissuaded. What a lesson for us. We have God's word. We should not listen to enemies. We should not listen to any voice that tells us to do anything that is contrary to the word of God. Well, let's rebuild our relationships Let's rebuild our lives. Let's rebuild our cities. Let's rebuild and be the people of God because God has given us a great spiritual inheritance. And while we're here, we want to accomplish all that God wants us to do. God bless. Are you ready to inspire your children and community with Vacation Bible School? Are you searching for digital solution for remote learning with VBS or Bible study this year? Well, if you don't know where to begin, I have good news. UMI has designed the solution you need. And now it'll be easier than ever to reach your church, community, and loved ones with the gospel of Jesus Christ. UMI is here to partner with you, and I'm thrilled to present the answer you need, which is the 2021 Digital VBS program, I've Got This with Jesus. It's the complete digital solution for parents, Christian educators, and teachers who are hosting VBS in person, or teaching remotely, or teaching or leading VBS through online video conferencing. Enjoying VBS at home, with children and family is another way to use this curriculum. Our new digital format allows you the flexibility to host an in-person class or completely digital class or teach hybrid vacation Bible school, which is a combination of digital and in-person, <laughs> whatever you choose you're guaranteed a streamlined VBS experience that's Christ-centered and creative. With I've Got This Digital VBS, you'll be able to inspire your students, engage your children, and share the gospel with members of your family and community, even if you're still gathering remotely. Just visit umivbs.com to get started with your complete VBS Vacation Bible School program, and you'll be equipped to teach creatively, effectively, 
and powerfully and lead many children, youth, teens, and adults to Christ. God bless you. You'll be able to say, I've got this with UMI's digital VBS.